first get out of all items from the package. There are monitor cameras, power cords, monitor brackets, cigarette adapters, antennas, sunshades and screws. Take out the back of the monitor. Install the antenna on the monitor. The antenna needs to face up. Take out the monitor bracket. Loosen the screws. Clamp the bracket. Tighten the screws. Like my operation. Take out the back of the monitor. Align the bracket with the bracket hole on the back of the monitor. Tighten the screws. The bracket can be operated flexibly. Take out 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker. Paste the 3M sticker on the bottom of the monitor bracket. Look my operation. You can tear off the 3M sticker and paste it where you want. Take out the camera. Install another antenna on the camera. The antenna needs to face up. Now we will demonstrate how to the windshield mount. Rotate the screw on the windshield mount, like my way. Move the cube. Take up the back of the monitor. Slide the cube into the back of the monitor, like my way. You can adjust the position you want, tighten the screw. You can mount it on the windshield. You may have one camera with monitor system or two cameras with monitor system according to your purchase. Take out the power cord. First connect the power cord to the monitor. Connect another power cord to the camera. Connect the third power cord to another camera. Now merge the three thin white wires. Also merge the three red thin wires. Look my operation. Take out the green connector. X sign means positive, minus sign means negative. Insert the merged red wire into the positive plus clot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Insert the merged white wire into the clot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Like my operation. Connect the green connector and power cord. Plug the adapter into the cigarette lighter outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. Press the red button again. The red button is often does not light up. Like my way. The monitor lights up. Test the camera now. Take out the camera. Cover the camera with your hand and press the green IR sensor with finger. You can see the IR lights. Take out another camera. Cover the camera with your hand. You can see the LED lights.
The testing finished. Disconnect all power. The easiest way is to power the monitor from the cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette adapter into the power. Press the red button. The monitor lights up. With your different use, connect the camera to different power source backup lighter tail light. Here is just an example demonstration. The red wire is connected to the positive pole of the reversing lighter tail light power supply, and the white wire is connected to the negative pole of the reversing lighter tail light. Like my operation, the monitor and camera start to work. There are three keys, key, M key, plus key. Press plus key to enter full screen mode. Key is used to turn on off the guideline. Press key to turn off the guideline. Press key to turn on the guideline again. Let me demonstrate it again. Press plus key to switch to CAM2 channel. Press the plus key again to switch to the split channel. Press plus key again to switch to CAM1 channel. Press M key to enter the menu mode. The first icon is used to pair signals. If you lost signals or if you have a new camera, press M key again to enter pairing. If you see pairing start icon, power off the camera and power on it again. When the image appears, it indicates that the signal is paired successfully, waiting within 20 seconds. Like my operation. Press M key to enter the menu mode. Press plus key or key to select the second icon. Press M key to confirm. The first icon is used to adjust the brightness. Press M key to confirm, and when the icon become red color, it means confirmed. Press plus key or key to adjust brightness. Press M key to confirm. Press plus key or key to select the second icon. Press M key to confirm. Press plus key or key to adjust contrast. Press M key to confirm. Press plus key or key to select the third icon. Press M key to confirm. Press plus key or key to adjust saturation. Press M key to confirm. Press M key about 2 seconds to exit current mode. Press M key again about 2 seconds to exit the current interface. Press plus key or key to select the third icon. Press M key to confirm. There are four icons, normal image, mirror image, vertical normal image, vertical mirror image. Press plus key or key to select mode. Press M key to confirm. Press plus key or key to select the fourth icon. Press M key to confirm. The first icon is used to switch languages. Press M key to confirm. Press plus or to switch languages. Press M to confirm. Press plus key or key to select the second icon. Press M key to confirm. Press plus or to set the delay time. Press M to confirm. This functions is useless. Just ignore it. Press plus key or key to select the third icon. Press M key to confirm. Press plus key or key to set the scan time. Press M key to confirm. Press plus key or key to select the fourth icon. Press M key to confirm. Press plus or to turn on the automatic channel switching. Press M to confirm. Press M key about 2 seconds to exit current mode. Press M key again about 2 seconds to exit the current interface. CAM1 and CAM2 are now automatically switched. Now enter the menu mode to close the automatic channel, like my operation.
press plus or to turn on the automatic channel switching. Press M to confirm. Press M key about 2 seconds to exit current mode. Press M key again about 2 seconds to exit the current interface. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord plug the power cord into the second hole iron sheets clamp the iron sheet to the taps bottom 